Good morning. I'm Jolene Redvale, and I'm a program specialist here in the Professional and Continuing Education Office at Cal State San Bernardino. And I'm here this morning with Dr. Vishal Munsif, who is our program coordinator for the uh, Master of Science in Accountancy programs. Hi, Dr. Good morning, Munsif. Jolene. So I want to chat with you today a little bit about our MSA programs. Um, we do have two. We have an on-campus program and an online program, but we're going to ask um, you know, a little bit about why would a student be interested in uh, doing an MSA program, um, and then we'll get into a little bit more of the program. Okay. So what does the MS in Accountancy prepare a student to do? All right. So uh, accounting is a very specific and uh, a, a job. Uh, it requires understanding of accounting, which is different from any other field, you know, accounting and finance go hand in hand, but accounting is historical data. So you need to understand how accounting works and how a company works. It's the it's the engine that keeps the company running or it be any company, it be a small company, be a large company, a multi-million dollar company, multi-billion dollar company. So MSN Accountancy prepares a student uh, for two things. One is to dive right into the job market and the other is the requirement, uh, to meet the requirements of the CPA exam and cp as you know is one of the most important certificates or a, or a license that's needed so our program basically prepares students uh, that continue from the undergrad uh, into the msa and we focus on 11 courses in accounting that is geared towards getting them towards the cpa uh, license mm -hmm. so i understand that uh, the cpa license can really take you places in your career um, but can individuals make a good living without going all the way to get their CPA license? Well, uh, the thing is, uh, the market is looking for CPAs. If you look at the the, uh, uh, the big four accounting firms, or if you look at the local CPA firms around in San Bernardino, or even nationwide, uh, they are looking for uh, students that have uh, the MSA and that are ready to take the CPA. You can get a job as an MSA student and you can you can work as an accountant, but the uh, the prospects of you getting promoted and getting the, the, the higher position without getting the CPA, it's almost uh, impossible. Mm -hmm. uh, unless you start your own accounting and you're filing taxes, that's a different thing, but for you to succeed on the client side as well as the accountant side, you need to have a CPA in order to move ahead in, in the accounting and getting that big positions here. Okay. Thank you for explaining that. Um, I understand that the CPA exam is changing in 2024. What will be the new emphases? All right. So uh, traditionally, CPA has been focused on four distinct fields, the financial accounting, tax, which is regulation. Then you have your business studies, and then you have audit. Right now, with the, uh, with the new uh, changes in the CPA, they are more focused on analytics, which is analyzing the data. So no longer you just do journal entries, but you need to understand those entries and create reports for the companies. So it's getting more involvement of the accountant with the other parts of the companies. So the CPA will now focus majorly on audit uh, and audit and tax, audit and financial accounting. And then you have four different parts where you can have the sub-focus on either audit tax, <clears throat> financial accounting or cost accounting. Uh, but audit is going to become a significant part of the CPA exam. So because it requires a lot of analysis, so analytics is going to be something which is a new part on the CPA. So it seems like that's kind of how the world of business is going now with a lot of big data and more analytics activities going on. Yeah, you use the, use the right word, big data. So it started with Google as big data, but now everything is data. So. Anytime you Google something, you use Wikipedia, that's because that's part of your analytics. So accountants will now start using more and more internet and intranet to gather more information. So yes, big data is part of accounting now. Okay, so a lot of the students in our programs here at Cal State San Bernardino uh, are, you know, hail from the region, um, whether it be right here locally near the school or in kind of the Southern California region. And I know that a lot of uh, our students want to continue working in our region, while others will, you know, move further away, maybe throughout California or even to another state. So, what is the job outlook for, say, the next ten years or so, um, here in the Inland Empire, but then also throughout California? It's wonderful. I think this is the best time to be an accountant. You know, the baby boomers are about to retire. I know next couple of years they they will be gone. So you have. 50% of the market open for accountants. Uh, 
locally, regionally, and nationally and internationally. In fact, accounting jobs everywhere is, is there. And this is the best time to get into accounting. So get your uh, undergrad, get your MSAs, and get your CPAs. You're right up there, and, you're, and your career is set. Yes, mm -hmm. great job. Okay. Wonder if it would be a good encore career for somebody who had a career and then now is looking for something new. Yes, yes. and we have, we have, in fact, CSVSB has those students that have worked in other fields, you know, on, on non business fields and coming back to get those business degrees and getting the, uh, the MSA and pursuing their CPA. And we have so many of these, and they're successful, in fact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We work a lot longer, you know, for more years throughout our career these days. So yes. it sounds like a good idea, actually. <laughs> um, so what do you think? Is accounting a good field for people who live with disabilities? Yes. So uh, accounting is a great field, in fact. You know, uh, so it's more uh, more of uh, work on your computers, more of a thought process rather than a physical job, right? So uh, as persons with disability can definitely be, and we have a lot of disabled students that are in the program and they're doing extremely well. I know a few students that have taken their CP and working well. And you know, um, when you work in accounting, they're looking at your skills in accounting rather than anything else. And your if your skills in accounting, your knowledge in accounting is good, get, getting that promotion is not hard at all. You know, uh, except as as I said, you need the CPA, so you need to get every step forward. But uh, it's a great field. It's a great field for anybody uh, uh, with disability. It's, I would say it's wonderful field. Uh huh. It it sounds too like a person who is, you know uh, identifies with a certain community. Um, could be an accountant for people within that community and then build trust within their community so that they can provide yeah. that service. And it could grow, you could grow your business. In fact, uh, accounting is a, is a very good way to do uh, nonprofits also or community help. You know, you can, uh, it's a good way to give back to the community. And that's, that's, we have our programs, you know, that help the community file their taxes for free. And you can do that in your spare time. It's, uh, there are two things to it. One, you can, you know, you are providing, giving back to the community. And the other thing is you can give that time as community work and you can get tax uh, deduction on that. Ah. And give them so, yeah. Uh -huh. Great, great all around opportunities. Yeah. Okay, so I was talking with a friend of mine the other day about what I do here at Cal State San Bernardino that I work with in our accounting programs and that we have a master's degree. And my friend said, what would you do with a master's degree in accounting? Don't spreadsheets and QuickBooks do all of the accounting nowadays? Well, <laughs> that's that's a general point of view, but no. Uh, <laughs> the spreadsheets are as good as the person using it, right? So mm -hmm. I mean, it's a, it's a program. Unless you tell it what to do, it won't do it. So even QuickBooks is a very good program. It scans everything and does everything for you, but it doesn't do everything that you need to do specifically in accounting. It can create your financial statements, but it doesn't know how to interpret those, right? So as as I said, analytics is going to be a big part of this. Uh, there, there are there are uh, restrictions on how much a spreadsheet or a QuickBook can do. Mm -hmm. You need okay. to have an accountant sitting on it and then understanding it. You know, QuickBooks are used by general public accountants and non-accountants, but ultimately they have to go to an accountant to file their taxes. So that additional step that's needed, you need an accountant doing the actual work. Mm, okay. So it's like a construction worker using a hammer. The hammer doesn't exactly. do the job. Exactly. The exactly. Has to it's operate. like any other skills job. Yeah. Ah, okay. Um, I uh, communicate with a lot of prospective students, and one of the questions that I get a lot it has to do with online versus in person. So sometimes they ask, "Are online programs harder than in person classes?" No. <laughs> So uh, the delivery process is the same, right? Whatever we teach in class is uh, also recorded. So it's the same delivery process. Students get the same amount of knowledge. In fact, online you can you can you can uh, go through the lectures at your own time. Where uh, you know in class they are in there. Okay, you have back and forth going on in class, but we always have additional hours where we can explain to students if they don't understand something. We are always available while uh, you know online. So uh, the delivery mode, the amount of education and, uh, and the coursework is identical to what we, what's in class versus what is online. So I don't think there's any difference in that. Mm -hmm. Great. Um... Oh, oh, one more thing, I'm sorry, I forgot. Oh yes, please. Uh, so if you look at the CPA review courses, right? So all the CPA review courses are online. So none of them are in class or face-to-face -face at this point. Uh, unless you wanna take it, it's, it's hard because they're at a specific location where you need to drive a lot and do that. 
most of the CPRU courses are online. So we give you that training that you can use, utilize for the CPA prep courses. Uh, so yeah, it, it's, it's a good training to study online. Uh -huh. um, and it seems like with all the tools like today, we're using um, uh, Zoom to, to, have to conduct this interview that it's, I see the potential where uh, accountants may be actually meeting with their clients online so being they, familiar with content online and using the tools and navigating around could actually be a bonus for when, when students get into the work world. Exactly. So this is what is happening with the big four accounting firms. Uh, I know about EY that they have they don't have a five day work week anymore. They have three day work week and other two days are online. And so they are performing audits for Microsoft, for example, uh, online. So they are not physically going. They are doing all the work online because it's more analytics based than since everything is available through a computer-aided program, uh, that everything is done online. You meet with the clients online, you talk to CEOs of the companies online. In fact, job interviews are now online. You know, the face-to-face -face interview is the final step when they are trying to ready to hire you. But before that, everything is online. So this is a good practice to be online. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, I think we've got a really nice overview of our uh, MS and Accountancy program today. And so I'm just going to put up a little information about uh, how to apply and where to get more information. Do you have any closing thoughts for us? Um, yes. So uh, I would I would say anybody that's looking to pursue a career in accounting, it doesn't matter what undergrad you have. If you're looking to get in and switch into accounting, it's a very easy step. You know, you take a few review courses, a few uh, online certificates, which you I'm sure you'll be talking about, and then get, then get into the MSA. And MSA is very crucial because it focuses on all those hard part that you need to understand for the CPA. So we are very geared and focused towards the CPA. Uh, there are various certificates in accounting, but CPA is the only license that gives you the right to practice as an accountant. And um, that's why all the accounting firms or any client, they all want CPA. They want to see that you have that extra commitment towards CPA. So we have a great program and accounting, as I said, is a wonderful field right now. Mm -hmm. Great. All right. Well, thank you for your time, Dr. Munsef. I really appreciate it. And um, I'll see you soon. Thank you so much, Julia. Thank you.